Yo, what is going on all my stars out there? How y'all shining? I don't know about you, but lately I have been really into simulator games. From car mechanic simulator, bus simulator, truck simulator, and soon cop simulator. They offer a fresh experience and allows you to take the role of that career fair. I've never gave these games a chance before, but I'm really glad that I started. And regardless of this review, I hope you give this genre a chance. So is On The Road Truck Simulator a good game? Mm, I'll let you decide after my review. So I want to talk about four key points. The delivery system, the camera views, the realism, the driving aspects, and managing your company as well as the different bugs while then giving my final review and things I wish they did differently. So starting with the first point of the delivery system, this is one aspect where I'll say they got it right. I really enjoyed their delivery system. I haven't played any of the actual truck simulators yet, such as American, Alaskan, or Europe truck simulator, so I do not know how the delivery system is. However, on On The Road Truck Simulator, they have a multi-drop delivery system. By default, when you pick up an order, it gives a pickup location and then a delivery location as your next stop. When you pick up another item, even if it's from that same location, by default, it will put that under your current route. So in essence, you would be picking up an item from say Berlin and then driving it to Munchen, then driving back to Berlin to pick up the second item to say deliver it to a city before Munchen. It's very inconvenient and kind of not realistic as well as time consuming. But this game does is it allows you to move routes up and down so I can get all the inventory and stock that fits in my truck from that location or other locations as long as it fits in my truck and deliver it on the way to Munchen or wherever my farthest stop is. Even schedule pickups for different drop off locations or at my quote unquote last stop. So I don't have to stop. I can just unfill my truck, then refill it on route. It's very convenient and I think it's pretty realistic. If I have the space for it, why not do multiple drops instead of always going back and forth? I could just fill up my truck at different locations and deliver it on route. I'm making more money and doing more and leveling up more. The next point is the camera views. They offer a first person mode and a third person mode. First person mode is obviously the best and most immersive. It's not a bad view. You can see everything and they even give you an enhanced mini map on the bottom of your screen that tells you your route on GPS and gas and if you have a parking brake enabled. One thing I don't like about it, however, is that in order to see the right side of the road or the right mirror, you have to turn your head all the way to the right. Whereas in games such as Bus Driver Simulator or even the official truck sims, they allow you to have both rear view mirrors in your rear view via a little screen on the left and the right, which would be extremely helpful in this game. With third person, it literally sucks. You have to try hard to get the view you want and even then it could not be a very good view so you kind of have to work with what you got. I believe it's a swivel camera where I think it would have been a much better concept as a stationary camera depending on where the truck is positioned. So how's the realism of this game? The game tries to be realistic and I can't say they failed at it but what I will say is it feels half assed or half baked. One thing is the time card. You have to insert it and either be in drive mode, which is nine hours of drive time, which is 48 minutes to an hour in real life. And then you need to rest. However, I haven't noticed any penalties for going past your time. You can also switch between modes and rest while you're literally driving 90 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles per hour. This game is a German game, I believe. So that's why it's in kilometers. But you can literally rest 90 miles down a highway. Another thing they got wrong with the realism is that you can use your turn signals, stop on red lights. However, again, there are no fines for not doing so. They will take a picture of you via traffic cam, but that's about it. And also gas is also pretty cheap and you often don't even have to fill up your truck, even on long trips or even fill up your employees vehicles. For example, I literally just did a very long trip where I not went around the map, but like I went to like four or five different cities and back to my HQ location. And before that went to another route, which was like from Berlin to Munchen, which is kind of probably 300 kilometers, I would say. And I only filled my truck up once. It's not realistic. Even in a car, you're going to have to refill your truck up. So now on a driving, this is probably the thing I hate the most compared to say bus driver simulator where the driving is very clean and polished. 
I say this driving kind of feels wonky and you really need to tweak the very limited amount of settings they give you to find something suitable to play with and that you like and feel comfortable with. I think I found my settings that I can drive on which feels very comfortable. I'll be releasing a video on it shortly. I also feel it's not easy but like it's easy to also lose control of your vehicle at times it can kind of be frustrating as you damage cargo which gives you less reputation to level up and gives you less money in the end so managing your company this could be fun and tedious at the same time you can hire an employee for a one-time fee of around 1500 it doesn't seem very realistic especially for a truck driver i think it should definitely be an occurring fee and a little more at the same time the only thing you could do is really buy is the trucks and trailers in the game which are pretty expensive however even those are only a one-time fee the delivery system works the same as yours once you select them you tell the employee what to pick up add route to the schedule and add the routes in the way that you want them to drive them and you send them on their way and they'll pretty much do that while you're driving yours and you'll get paid exactly how you would if you were to deliver that same product so it's a cool concept but there's really no other managing aspects of your businesses which would have been really cool if they added more managerial type of stuff so two bugs that i really see in the game often are either traffic jams or the truck stalling sometimes it's traffic jams that don't get cleared unless you close app and reopen it and sometimes the truck stalls it can be frustrating at times but again it's a knockoff game of the other one so like how much do you really expect to get out of it so what is my final review after all of that? Honestly, I'm gonna have to rate this a six out of 10, maybe a 6.5 out of 10. I say this because it's not a horrible game, but it's far from a good game. I still play it and I will play it until one of the official truck games comes to the PS5 or until I get a platinum trophy or at least get bored with it. There's a lot that they could have done differently in this game that I believe would have made it a much more better and more polished game all around such as the ability to change HQs, the ability to add both a rear view mirror on the screen, better driving and handling to make driving easier, and even little things for realism such as fines for traffic violations and accidents, steeper gas prices, having to maintain and get maintenance on your trucks, having to pay your employees for gas and a wage, even general business day to day costs would have made it more fun and would have actually made you have to do more routes or just kind of plan where you want to go to have the money to cover all of those and still turn a profit. So is this a good game? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and you can click the video on the left to see me play Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 and you can click the video on the right to watch another video about me. I'll be releasing more videos of this game and other simulators so make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. It's been your boy Formula Cosmos. I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm out. Peace.